Relive the glory days of when you were seven years old and waiting for your parents to pick you up from your grandmother's house after school by playing Microsoft Minesweeper, the game where you click buttons, look at pretty numbers, and then use your logical deduction skills to clear the field of mines. And the punishment if you fuck up, you might ask? Add marketing. Eminem is a puzzle strategy video game that has no story, so I'll make one up. May 7th, 1945, Allied forces move in on Berlin, the vile heart of the Wehrmacht. But then, Crash Bandicoot flies in on a biplane and drops mines between the Allies and their objective, so they send in the legendary Minesweeper Man to clear the way. That's you. You can play Eminem on Windows, Android, and Xbox. I scoured the web to find out if you can use a controller, and turns out, you can't. Here are the only real menu settings. Graphics-wise, uh, it's Minesweeper. It looks like Minesweeper. You got your board, you got some numbers, you got mines, and the piece de resistance. Dumbass ads off to the side. But you can't name five of 20 of these vintage objects. I got your vintage object right here if you catch my drift. There's a few other game modes that look different but are just at their core still Minesweeper. I'll talk about them later. I'm not even gonna put up the system requirements. You can run this game unless you have the first computer ever made. And now, general mechanics. Click a square to uncover its mysteries. The first click is always safe. You can right-click a square that you think has a mind to put a flag on it. This will prevent you from accidentally clicking it. Right-click a flag to turn it into a question mark, which has the same effect as a flag. Double-click a number to reveal all boxes adjacent to it, so long as you have mines near it flagged. Careful, though, you might accidentally hit a spiky boy. And finally, zoom in and out. There are keyboard shortcuts, though I don't know why you'd use those unless the Hamburglar broke into your house and stole your mouse. And burgers. The game is played like this. You start a game, enjoy having a shitty unskippable mobile game ad steal 30 seconds of your life. Get into the game, you click a box. It gives you a number or reveals empty boxes. The number indicates how many mines are adjacent to the box it's contained in. Use logic and experience to uncover all the boxes without hitting a mine. If you hit a mine, either fuck off into the abyss and concede, or again, pay for another chance with 30 seconds of your life. I will note that an ad to start the game isn't always there. What is there to do in Microsoft Minesweeper? You have daily challenges that consist of things such as needing to flag all the mines, needing to detonate all the mines, or finding the Flying Dutchman's treasure chest. Complete the challenge just so you can brag to the e-girl you like about doing it. There's also an adventure game mode where you play Minesweeper, but you like control a dude, get items, go through different floors and shit. I don't know, it's weird, but cool, I guess. There are four basic difficulty settings, classic, easy, medium, and expert. Each difficulty has a larger map and more mines. You can also make a custom map where you can fuck with the girth and length of the map as well as how many mines are in it. For enemy variety, it's Minesweeper, so not much. You of course have mines, but in adventure mode as mentioned earlier, there are skeletons. They literally just stand there and block you, shoot them with an arrow to send them back to their eternal rest. But the most powerful of all enemies, ads, the only way to truly vanquish them is to spend your hard-earned money to turn ads off. As for loot and pickups, there's really only any in adventure mode. You got things like pickaxes to break rocks like Steve, keys to open doors, TNT to break mad blocks at once, or a map that reveals mines. There's cosmetics as well in the form of board themes. They just change how the board looks. You unlock them by reaching certain milestones, but have retro unlocked at the start. Minesweeper isn't meant to be a funny game, but I did breathe slightly through my nose when I learned that you can spam spacebar to make your character go, huh? But there's no cooldown on it. Huh? Overall, it's Minesweeper. Did you like Minesweeper years ago? If so, you'd like this game. If you can get over handing Microsoft hours of your life you'll never get back by watching dog shit mobile game ads and constantly seeing ugly ass clickbait ads out of the corner of your eye unless you're willing to shell out the big bucks to remove them. At least you save money if you buy by the year. On our patented 0 to 1 scale, we gave this game a 0.49 out of 1. Overall, the game isn't as engaging as something like an FPS, but it's consistent unless you get an impossible decision. The unskippable ads really kill it here, but it does redeem itself a bit with the daily challenges and adventure mode. If you like this no bullshit review of Microsoft Minesweeper, give that like button a quick slap on the ass, diffuse that sub button, and leave a comment to express your feelings on us. We like all feedback. Thanks for watching, good night, and stop putting off getting new tires for your car. You will die eventually.